So there was some Philly fans who were a little bit upset at my video yesterday saying that I think the 76ers need to trade either Joel Embiid or Ben Simmons. So today I thought I would go over to 2K and now that they hired Daryl Morey, I'm going to rebuild the Philadelphia 76ers and keep both Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons and see if we can win a championship. Obviously this is not the same as doing it in real life, but we're just going to see if it's possible in the video game and I think it should be a ton of fun. So I just also want to thank you guys so much for the support. I've gained like 100 subscribers in the last week because I had my mock draft video that got so far over 10,000, 11,000 views and that is just insane to me. Other than that, my biggest video is 6,000, which was another mock draft and this video has been going crazy and I really do appreciate that. So thank you guys for coming over. But if you have not subscribed already, please consider doing that. At 2,000 subscribers, I am going to be doing a giveaway and to get entered into that, just be subscribed and we'll talk about the details when I get a little bit closer. But now with that being said, let's go ahead and rebuild the Philadelphia 76ers. All right, so my main obstacles is obviously Tobias Harris's contract and Al Horford's contract. We got some things to do there, but I believe we do have a decent number of picks. So we have our 2021 first, our 2022 first, and our 2023 first. So we pretty much have every first round pick in this draft or in the next few seasons for the draft so we're sitting pretty good there um i gotta find a way to offload the horford and harris contracts without sending out too much of an asset so horford makes 27 million i mean clink Capello, we could do that but i have joel mb so i really don't need that buddy heel this this would be this would be like i would be ecstatic to make this trade here if nothing better happens um because that is a really good shooter to put on this team. I mean, when you talk about the problems with the 76ers, it's that they can't shoot. So to just send a Horford's contract, get off that. Bring in Buddy Heald, who might be a bit overpaid, sure. But he's one of the better shooters in the league. And I only have to throw in a second round draft pick. I am all over that. He is going to be our starting, either our starting two or three. I don't know yet. But we do have to trade away uh, Tobias Harris as well. And I might put some picks on with him. To see if we can get anything better. I wouldn't mind Kevin Love. Except he's on a really big contract also. But I think fit wise he actually fits really nicely. Gordon Hayward. Don't love that either. Um, is there anything better? I, I could trade for Al Horford again. Um, Aaron Gordon at the 4. That's not bad. It's a little. I mean he's not a great shooter. What's he in 2K? He is a B. Okay. So he could add a little bit of spacing to this team. Harris is an A-. minus, But like. That contract is just so bad. I don't mind Harris on that team. I just think his contract is really inflated. Um, who else? Drew Holiday. Now that would be nice. I mean, we'd obviously have to re-sign him, but Drew Holiday could play that two or three spot, probably the two, and we could put Buddy at the three. I don't really want DeMar DeRozan on this team. D'Angelo Russell would be nice too. Philo would actually work out pretty good because... Well, just think about this. D'Angelo Russell can shoot the ball really well. I think he's an A minus. Yeah, that would that would work out nicely. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some picks with Tobias. So if I throw like 2022 and 2023, can I get something better? Zach Levine is a good fit here, uh, for sure a good fit. Sabonis is an all right fit. I'm not super high on that. You know what? Let's just go back and let's either make that uh trade for Drew Holiday or for D'Angelo Russell. I think I'm going to go with D'Lo and then we are going to put him at the one and Ben Simmons is going to go play the three for us. I like that a lot. So Ben Simmons can play the three and now we got a starting lineup of D'Angelo Russell, Jace, Josh Richardson, who I'm probably going to trade to bring in a uh, power forward to play next to Joel Embiid. Um, yeah, and then Ben Simmons at the three. Mike Scott at the four currently, but we are going to make a change there. So let's trade Richardson, who makes $10 million. And see what we can get for him on the trade market. I mean, I still have all my picks as well. So we get a power forward. Guys, I hate trading for Clint Capella because I do it all the time, but it just works out so good. I'm going to try not to do that today. Oh, there's, oh my goodness, there's Mitchell Robinson too. Oh boy, what am I going to do here? What do I do? Robert Covington? Eh. Davis Bertons actually would be nice at that four spot. 
That would actually be nice. Let's bring him in. I could have brought Brook Lopez in, I guess, too. So Berton's at the four. He should start then. They got they want Thibel starting over Heald. That is crazy. I want Heald starting, honestly. Um, so we'll drop Thibel down to about 22 minutes a game. We'll put Buddy up to 32. Um, oh, Brett Brown is the coach. We have to fix that. We really have to fix that. Okay, Brett Brown's the coach. And is I gotta see here. Okay, I gotta go ahead and fire Doc Rivers and then hire him to be the coach of the 76ers. All right, so we're gonna hire Doc Rivers. All right, and that works out good. Now I gotta turn off control of the Clippers because we don't wanna do anything with them. All right, so Doc wants to start Buddy Heald, and then we also get D'Angelo Russell in the starting lineup, Ben Simmons, Davis Bertans, and Joel Embiid. Then off the bench, it looks like Ish Smith, uh, Matisse Thibel, Glenn Robinson the third, Furkan Korkmaz, Shake Milton. So Milton's a good shooter, Korkmaz is a good shooter, Robinson's a good shooter, Thibel's a solid shooter, and Smith, they actually have some bench pieces that could shoot, but we need a couple big men off the bench. So we're gonna see if we can trade, maybe like Layman and package him with someone and some second round picks or something. So maybe like Layman, Neto, and the second from the Knicks, which actually might be a really good second, but if we can get a big man like Bruno Fernando to be the backup, he's not a good shooter whatsoever, but he won't share the floor with Joel Embiid, so that's fine. Jakob Pertl, also not a good shooter. Wow, they really got Kevon Looney as a 74. You, I feel like he used to be a much better player than that. So we brought in Fernando, and we also got a first round pick for that, so I'm not mad at that whatsoever. Um, he's gonna have to come in here. So I'm gonna trade like Korkmaz, and do I trade Shake Milton or Glenn Robinson? That's the question. Um, or do I trade them both? Um, let's trade Glenn. I don't know, man. What it, what's going on again? We got, okay, the bench is, we got a point guard, shooting guard, and we got a small forward, another shooting guard. So I gotta trade both of these two, I think, and bring in a power forward. So that would be Korkmaz, Milton, and a second. Yeah, we'll do a second. Or should we put in that Hawks first? We'll see. I gotta get a power forward though. So, um, I could always get a center and make him a power forward as well. So like we could go out and get Kevon Looney and make him our backup four. So he's now a 77. Okay, so this would be the lineup then. We're gonna run the 10 man rotation. All right, so D'Lo, Buddy Heald, Ben Simmons, Davis Bertans, and Joel Embiid. You added three really good shooters around these two. Hopefully things work out here in season number one. Grit and grind, not my favorite system to run with this team to be honest with you. Uh, is there a better one? Not really. So let's just run grit and, gr grit and Grind because that is Doc Rivers' preferred. And I will simulate season number one. We will see if we can, you know, make a run in the playoffs. I don't think we're quite there yet, but we have some uh, picks to move and stuff as well. So I will see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so we only ended up with 48 wins, which isn't the best, but honestly, that shows me that we are heading in the right direction. So here are all the awards here in season number one. And... Let's see, what do we do now? So these are the All-NBA teams. Um, I'm just trying to think, is this team gonna be good in the playoffs or not? Joel Embiid got All-NBA second team. All right, cool. So with that being said, uh, defensively, no, nobody. Okay, so we are the four seed out East. So about the same level, but now we have more assets to work with. So Joel Embiid looked nice. D'Lo actually played really good and so did Heald and Simmons. That's all I was asking. Bertans, did he shoot the ball well? 41%. All right, let's go ahead and check. I want to check this. I don't usually check things like this, but I want to look at three point uh, three pointers attempted. We were not very good at attempting them, apparently. We were still 25th, but three point percentage, we were second in the league. We got shooters around and beat in Simmons. That's what we were trying to do. All right, perfect. So let's simulate round number one against the Raptors. Wouldn't be surprised if we lost and we do lose in five games. All right, so let's just simulate the entire playoff, see who wins in season number one. And it actually is the Raptors, which is new. Pascal Siakam wins finals MVP. All right, so draft lottery. We do have a draft pick. I don't know who it's from. It might just be our own. Um, but let's see here. We have 
Pick number 23 in this year's draft. Okay, I'm fine with that. Assistant GM, we gotta hire a better one. We're gonna hire Michael Williams. Hopefully he accepts that. We'll try and hire uh, Trent Peterson as well. And trainer, we'll try and hire Randy Martin. All right, so we didn't get um, Randy Martin. So let's try and hire Nicholas Foster. Hopefully he accepts that and he does. Good, so let's go to the draft. I don't think we're gonna get too much at the 23rd pick, but it, you know what? It might surprise me. So I don't know many of these guys. Keon Johnson, he's a solid player. I think we might go with Johnson. I'm just gonna take him. And that is all we have for draft picks. So looks like, wow, Cade Cunningham fell. They took Terrence Clark and BJ Boston before him. That's very interesting. All right, so anyways, let's see. At 23, we got a 72 overall. Eh, nothing too special there. All right, so rookie signing Keon Johnson. Yeah, we'll sign him. And then team player options. Looney declined his player option. We're going to accept team options on Thibel. Sure, Zaire Smith. I might just trade Zaire Smith. He's not worth a lot to me. Qualifying offers, Mario Shayok, sure. And then we're not going to have any money in free agency, so I just want to make sure our big four is on the team, and they are still all on the team, so that is huge. Plus, we still have Thibel. So let me go ahead and actually look. Let's see here. So point guards, we have one point guard. We have four shooting guards. We have one small forward, no power forwards, and two centers. So we need to bring back Berton, so let's find him. He is not interested in negotiating. Well, that is about to change because I will be signing you, my guy. So let's see what he has to say to this. Oh, we'll throw him 38. There's a fly buzzing around. We'll see what he has to do. 38.88. Hopefully he accepts that. And who else did we have offers on? Mike Scott. Okay, I don't really care about that. And then we only can afford minimum guys. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, so let's get Mike Scott in he or uh, Davis Bertans in here. And he does agree to come to the team. Now, yeah, we have pretty much no money. Um. Okay, so I have a center. I need a backup point guard. I guess it's going to be Trey Burke. We'll bring in Trey Burke. Hopefully he accepts that. All right, and... I think that's all we're gonna do i mean i don't know what else we can do we'll leave it we'll leave it at that so player progression let's go ahead and see what is going on here so uh ben simmons is up to a 92 joel and beads up to a 92 russell is an 87 healed stays at an 81 thiable goes up to 79 berton still 79 all right so i feel pretty good with this team so i'm gonna send some people to training camps and we're gonna probably make a few moves before next season gets going and then we should be in a very good place to try and win a championship. All right, so I think Buddy Heald is probably going to get traded, in all honesty. He has a nice contract. We don't really need him. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do. So Buddy Heald, $24 million. That could get us a solid player in the trade market, hopefully. Kevin Herter and Capella. Okay, maybe not as good of a player as I thought, but let's go see. Let's go see who's selling. Um, Chris Middleton's on a rebuilding team. Zach Levine's on a rebuilding team. Can we go out and get Zach Levine? That would actually, we could probably do something like that. So Zach Levine would be an interesting one. Um, Jalen Brown, that would be interesting as well. Wow, this Clippers team looks way different. Kyle Lowry, Josh Richardson, Harrison Barnes, Bull Bull, and Derek Favors. That is crazy how different they look in just one year. Um, who else is rebuilding though? The Jazz, Donovan Mitchell. He's actually not untouchable. I don't think we'd be able to get him, but maybe. Um, otherwise, yeah, I don't know who else we could get really. Um, yeah, so who did I say beforehand we could go ahead and try and get, um, Chris Middleton or Zach Levine? I think I'm going to go ahead and try and get Zach Levine. So let's try and see. We'll get Levine and I will send you Buddy Healed. All right, and I will give you this pick. And possibly this pick. That is all it took. Okay, yeah, that was definitely worth making. Zach Levine's still running the shooting guard for us, which is nice. 
and I wouldn't be against trying to upgrade from D'Angelo Russell if we can. I still have both of these 2022 picks and both of them aren't gonna be good. So if we could upgrade, I'll definitely uh, entertain doing that. Jamal Murray and him are about the same, but we could get Isaiah Todd to play the backup four for us. We could bring Brandon Ingram in, run him at the three, but I'd need a point guard. I don't really wanna put Ben Simmons back at the point guard. Pascal Siaka, Markel Fultz, Russell Westbrook, Devin Booker. Yeah, I don't really see a trade that's really worth making, except this one, possibly. Um, you know what? I think I'm good on that. So let's go see what this, the lineup looks like. I just need to upgrade the bench, I believe. So we need a small forward. I wonder if Keon Johnson can play small forward for, off, for us off the bench or if it should be Matisse Thibel. So Johnson is a 72 either way. We're going to put Thibel there. And I'm probably going to trade Zaire Smith now too. So Zaire Smith... And what if I put him with Keon Johnson? Can I get a solid backup player? Um, like a small forward, power forward. Miles Bridges would be nice. Mitchell Robinson off the bench would be nice. To be the backup center. Um, yeah, okay, we'll do that. So all of a sudden they want Bobby Portis starting at power forward. I don't really want that, but if I could put Bobby Portis, who makes nine million with like uh, Davis Bertans, could I get something really good to play the power forward spot for us? Not this way, but maybe if I threw in a pick, top three protected, doesn't really do anything for us. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. I don't really want Bobby Portis either way though, so let's trade Bobby Portis, because he is not anything I really want on this team whatsoever. Tim Hardaway Jr., don't really need that. If I could get a backup small forward, um, let's go get Malik Beasley. He would fit this team really nicely as well. He's a really solid shooter. Put him at the small forward. He goes up to an 80. So we got D'Lo, Levine, Simmons, Bertans, and Embiid. Then off the bench, we got a center. Oh, two small forwards now. Okay, so I could probably afford to put uh, Fernando back to the power forward, or down to the power forward, and then keep Beasley at the shooting guard so Beasley at shooting guard because he's not a great defender and the Fernando not at the point guard oh my goodness at the power forward all right so 10 man rotation I'm gonna go bench utilization down a little bit as well just because I want this team to be using their starters a bunch and I'm probably gonna take some minutes away even so let's go a couple away from Burke actually no let's go some away from Mitchell Robinson some away from Matisse Thibel and we'll give more to like Levine up to like 32, 32. Actually, we'll go 33 and 33. All right, so this is going to be the team heading into this coming season. I like it, system proficiency. Um, I'm gonna go balance because I think that works out a little bit better. So I'm gonna simulate season number two. Hopefully we can just win our championship here in this season, but I think that's gonna be a tall task and we might have to try for next year. But we are 9-1, and 10-1 and one at the start of the season. So I'll see you guys at the end of year number two. All right, season number two is over, and that means 65 wins should be getting us a one seed in the Eastern Conference, I'd be willing to bet. But um, 65 and 17 is the record. Here are all of the awards. And Doc Rivers does win coach of the year, so that again leads me to believe that we were the best team in the league. Um, any 76ers on any All-NBA teams? First team, no. Second team, no. Third team, uh, no. Um, okay, so that means we are either really well-rounded. I did see we were the one seed. Uh, yes, yeah, so D'Lo, Levine. Wow, those two really came in and became the best players on this team stats-wise. Um, I guess Embiid still looks really good and Simmons still looks really good from like a, an assisting standpoint, but scoring-wise, not really. Um, but hopefully good enough to win as a championship in season number two. So we have the Bulls who have... Kobe White, Buddy Heald, Kelly Oubre, Laurie Markkinen, and Wendell Carter. So we should beat this team. And we do beat them in just four games. And now we have old friend 76er, um, former 76er Jimmy Butler on this team. So let's see if we can beat... This is a good team. 2-1. Uh, let's see if we can go up 3-1. We do. And we do win in five games. So um, now we are going to have the Atlanta Hawks, who obviously have Trey Young. Tristan Thompson, John Collins, DeAndre Hunter, and Kevin Herter fill out that roster. 
So I'm gonna go game by game because for some reason I am a little bit nervous about this series. We're up 2-0 though. Can we go up 3-0? And we do, okay. Not too worried anymore. We end up winning in just four. And now we got Jalen Brunson, Luka Doncic, Troy Brown Jr., Anthony Davis, and Kristaps Porzingis. So let's go game by game. They take game one, of course they do. Uh, we take game two. Can we take game three? They take game three. And they take game four. Can we come back down 3-1? It doesn't look like we will. Dang. All right. So they end up winning the championship in five games. And we have one more season to try and win a championship with Joel and Ben. So we don't have a pick. Oh, we have the 29th pick in this draft. Okay. So that is fine. I guess there's nothing too special about that. Let's just go ahead. See what is in that draft at that spot and just move on with our life. So at 29, these guys are all going to be auto-generated guys, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to simulate. And looks like we saw, we got a 58 and a 58. I am not signing a 58 overall to a $2 million contract. It is not happening. Team option for Matisse Thibel, of course. And then qualifying offers, Fernando, yes. Now, free agency is here. We have bird rights on Levine, Robinson, and Fernando. So let's bring those guys back. Um, Fernando and Mitchell Robinson. And it looks like we got all three of those guys. Is there anybody I'm missing on our roster? So we got Embiid, Simmons, and Russell. Okay, so we're pretty, we have most of our key pieces. All right, as long as we sign these guys back. So let's get them in here. And we're gonna match Fernando, I'm fine with that. Now, the only other thing is to fill out the rest of the roster. And we have two point guards. We have a shooting guard, two small forwards, two power forwards, and two centers. So we just basically need a backup shooting guard. All right, so with that being said, let's just go ahead and see who is out there. So DeLon Wright, I don't mind DeLon Wright. Let's, let's throw him a contract. Hopefully he accepts that. And then that's all I'm gonna do. So player progression, let's see how the team looks now. Um, we should be pretty solid. So Ben Simmons still 92. D'Lo just goes up one. Robinson goes up one. Thibel goes up three, but that's because we changed his position for a few of those points. And then Fernando goes up three. We changed his position as well. So not a lot of improvement from last year, which means I have to make some trades if I want to win the championship and get over that hump. So I'm going to send some people to training camps and then I will see you guys at the start of next season. All right. So the only thing I can think to do is like flip Robinson, flip D'Lo and try and get something better. I'm not really sure. We'll see what Mitchell Robinson, now that he's on a big contract, could get us in a trade. Uh, Lonzo Ball, who's an 85. Um, not a lot, to be honest. Jamal Murray to play point guard. Isaiah Todd to be the backup four. Okay, how do I feel about that? I don't really know. I'll go see what I can get for D'Lo then. D'Lo and two first. Chris Middleton, Wendell and Kobe. John Collins and Cam Reddish, Paul George, Dinwiddie and Jalen Green, Chris Stops. Chris Stops to run the four for us would actually be really nice. And I could trade Mitchell Robinson and get Jamal Murray. Um, Sabonis and Brogdon, Siakam and Fultz. That actually might be nice. Siakam and Fultz to run the four and then a point guard. All right, so we have Fultz, Levine, Simmons, Siakam, and B. Then off the bench, we look like this. That's not bad at all. I think that's probably, well, I guess we could see what we could get for Fultz. He's on a big contract too. So if I threw in a couple future first, could we get a little bit better of an upgrade at the point guard? Alonzo uh, Ball is a little upgrade, not much, not, not making it worth it. I do like Jamal Murray a bit better though. So let's go get Jamal Murray on this team. Living in a fantasy world, we can make trades like this. So Jamal Murray's coming in there. Then the bench looks like this. Um, I guess we could just, again, see what we can get for Mitchell Robinson and see what type of trade we need to make. So we give him that first and just another second. And we could get not much. Okay, sounds good. The only other trade I could think of is trying to trade away Zach Levine and seeing if we could upgrade the shooting guard at all. Colin Saxon upgrades it a little bit, but not enough to make it worth it in my opinion. All right, so I think we're good. So the team now looks like this. Um, I have no problems with it. I think I might just shorten up the rotation to nine though. 
and we should be good. So I'm gonna simulate season number, um, season number three, and see if we can win our championship now, or if this is a total failure. I don't know. We will see when this uh, season is over. So I'll catch you guys there. All right. So 61 and 21 was our record this year, which is a little bit worse, which kind of surprises me. But hopefully we have some better luck here in the playoffs. So all NBA first team, we had no one. Second team and third team, also no one. And nobody on defensive teams. So that is kind of discouraging. Uh, but here are the stats. We had three 20 point per game scores. And then Simmons and uh, Siakam did their thing as well. All right. It's our last ditch effort. Uh, we're still the one seed. So now we're going up against Buddy Heald again. All right. Let's see if we can uh, win this round. And we do beat them in five. Now we have Boston. That's a tough that's a tough seed there, and the fly keeps bothering me. Uh, but we end up beating them 4-0. Atlanta again, can we beat them? Oh, they're up 2-0. That is not good. They are up 3-0. Wow, we are going to lose in the Eastern Conference Finals, aren't we? We do. We get swept in the Eastern Conference Finals. Wow, 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 wow. And the Mavericks go on to win the whole thing again. So I'm kind of disappointed in that finish, but I guess it is what it is. But it does go to show that it is, you know, in 2K, it is possible to build a really good team around Simmons and Embiid. I'm interested to see what Daryl Morey does because I don't necessarily think he will trade either one of them, at least not yet. So I'm interested to see how it works out. And for 76ers fans, I hope it does work out well. Uh, but selfishly, I hope they want to trade Simmons and the Timberwolves can make a deal because he would be like the perfect player for us. But regardless of that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new, smash that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.